They used artificial intelligence to mimic the voice of former President Donald Trump without disclosing it. One of the most high profile uses of this new technology on the campaign trail so far. With the rise of AI powered tools that can create hyper realistic fakes, ABC Senior. Microsoft has released a new AI tool called Azure AI Speech Studio that can generate photorealistic avatars and replicate voices, raising concerns about the creation of deepfakes. But there's more to this tool. It can make your voice speak in over 100 different languages while still sounding like you. It can also be your language teacher. The tool can listen to how you speak and give you tips on improving your pronunciation, making it a great way to learn new languages. Plus, it can even act like a salesperson in your next online shopping experience, talking and helping customers in many languages. This makes shopping more fun and easier for everyone, no matter what language they speak. This innovation might herald the end of an era for giants like Eleven Labs and HeyGen, changing the game in voice and avatar technology. I want to speak English more good. Do you mean you want to speak English better? Yes, I want to speak English better. How can I learn? It's important to speak frequently with a native speaker. I know, but I don't have any friends. I see. You can get a speaking coach. But speaking coaches are expensive. That's true. You should get an AI speaking coach then. But I don't want to speak AI. Lastly, Microsoft has formed a partnership with Be My Eyes, incorporating OpenAI's ChatGPT4 into their customer service, specifically for visually impaired users. We've been using the new Be My AI powered Microsoft Help Desk for a few months now. It's been absolutely incredible. Microsoft's Azure AI Speech Studio, which was showcased at the Microsoft Ignite 2023 event, is all about giving your applications a voice and ears. Imagine your apps being able to listen, understand, and even talk back to you or your customers. This is possible with features like converting speech to text and text to speech. Following this, Microsoft has developed two types of avatar features that can speak using the text you provide. The first type is pre-built avatars. These avatars can speak in various languages and have different voices, depending on what you write for them to say. You can choose from a variety of avatars and use them to create a video content or interactive applications where the avatar responds in real time, just like a real person. The second type is the customizable talking avatar. This feature lets you create a unique avatar for your product or brand. You can upload a video of someone whose appearance and voice you want the avatar to mimic. The system then creates a synthetic version of this custom avatar that can speak. You have the option to use a pre-made voice or even create a custom voice. This customization adds a personal touch to your digital interactions, making them more engaging and tailored to your brand's identity. However, this announcement raised some concerns. Critics pointed out that this technology could be used to create deepfakes, which are fake videos that look real. These deepfakes can show people saying or doing things they never actually did. Interestingly, even Microsoft's president has previously expressed worries about deepfakes being a major issue in the growing field of artificial intelligence. Now there's a risk that people might misuse this tool and Microsoft knows this. For example, similar technology from Synthesia was used wrongly for fake news and propaganda. At first, most people using Azure can only use ready-made avatars, not their own custom ones. Microsoft is only letting a few people make custom avatars, and only for specific purposes. Microsoft has introduced more cool features, and the second most impressive one is the live chat avatar. This is a digital character that can talk and interact with people in real time. It listens to what you say and responds with a voice that sounds very realistic, just like a real person. What are the differences between the Surface Pro and Surface Go product lines? The Surface Pro is more powerful with a larger display, while the Surface Go... Here's how it can be used. The avatars can serve as virtual sales agents or customer service bots acting like human salespeople or help desk staff. The best part is that these avatars can identify the language you're speaking and respond in your language, making the communication much more effective and personalized. Additionally, these avatars can be utilized in education as AI teachers. In this role, they interact with students, providing an engaging and interactive learning experience, much like a real teacher would. Here's a glimpse into the outdoor shopping demo experience, showcasing the multilingual capabilities of the avatar feature. Deal für anspruchsvolle Wanderungen. Sie sind aus hochwertigem Leder gefertigt. Microsoft also introduced a special feature called Pronunciation Assessment. 
This tool listens to how you pronounce words and then gives you feedback on how accurate and fluent your speech is. It's really helpful for people learning a new language. They can practice speaking, receive immediate feedback, and work on improving their pronunciation. This way, they can become more confident in speaking and presenting in the language they are learning. To use it, you simply add the text you want to practice or let it suggest a topic for you to speak about. Then you have two options. You can upload a file with a recording of your voice, or you can record yourself speaking directly through the tool. After you've submitted your speech, the tool gives you detailed feedback on how well you pronounced the words and how fluent your speech was, helping you understand and improve your language skills effectively. In addition to its other capabilities, Microsoft's Azure AI Speech Studio offers a range of advanced features that put it in competition with the best tools in the market. One such feature is Personal Voice, which allows the creation of an AI voice from a human voice sample. This provides users with a personalized voice experience across 100 languages, making it incredibly versatile for various applications. Another significant feature is the real-time speech-to-text, allowing instant testing of audio on a speech recognition endpoint without the need for coding. A great use case is for call center transcription and analytics. This tool is especially useful for call centers, as it can transcribe call recordings and extract valuable information such as personally identifiable information, sentiment, and call summaries. It's an effective way to analyze call center interactions for improved customer service and insights. Pam, thank you for calling Contessa. How can I help? Hi there, my name is Mary. I'm currently living in Los Angeles, but I'm planning to move to Las Vegas and I would like to apply for a loan. This is the future of the call centers. Using Azure AI Studio, developers can easily build custom helpers for different apps. It offers ready-to-use features and examples for many industries, making it simpler to create specialized helpers. This tool is great for making chat services for businesses, improving how customers interact with apps or analyzing spoken words. Now Azure Speech lets you add captions to your videos and audio, just like YouTube does. You can use it for movies, live TV, sports, or even for audio like podcasts and phone calls. For live shows like news or sports, it adds captions quickly, so words show up right after they're said. When it comes to the neural TTS, in order to get a good voice, it's better to have good data. To achieve that, we build a universal TTS model. Microsoft has also teamed up with Be My Eyes, a company that helps visually impaired people to improve customer service for blind users. They're using a tool called Be My AI, powered by OpenAI's ChatGPT4, to help these users solve technical problems without needing a human helper. Be My AI can describe pictures for users, like how to set up a computer or what's written on a product label. It talks to users in a way that's easy to understand, giving them helpful advice for different issues. This tool is a big step forward for Microsoft in helping people with disabilities. It's faster than talking to a human on the phone, and most users find they don't even need to speak to a person after using it. Microsoft is the first to use this tool in customer service, showing its commitment to making technology easier for everyone. They're not stopping there either. Microsoft is also working on making all their products more user-friendly for people with disabilities, like with their new Accessibility Assistant in Microsoft 365, which helps you create content that everyone can access. It is part of a bigger trend in technology to make things more accessible and helpful for everyone, no matter their abilities. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, subscribe and check out this video on your screen that I've selected just for you. Thanks for watching.